In Mexico, we are pretty much part of this network. We are there for all who keep the world moving. It's 23 years of consecutive leadership in Mexico. Our development engineering center, proudly Mexican, completely integrated in the Diva development network from Daimler. So we have every systems we can do in Mexico to deliver the best products for Mexican markets. So we are very proud that a part of our headquarter, Mexico is the only country where we have all our different entities because we have the cell office in Mexico City, we have the factory here in Monterrey, but also we have Lego Education and Lego Foundation. Monterrey is the only factory that we have in America. It is the largest factory that we have in the world. I think that we are, with our example, demonstrating that Mexico is a good place to invest. I think that we are having a lot of benefits being in a position, in a geographical position, very strategic, very close to, the, to our main markets that we have. Um, where Germany uh, stands out is Industry 4.0, which is uh, how to produce something, you know, sustainability. This is something very deep in our culture and very important for German industry in Mexico. Uh, we come to stay, and uh, as we want to stay, we, we take care of our environment in all the senses. We want to be here for, for a long time and the business that we want to do is in a good way. We live here and we know Mexicans really know how to work and they like to work and they work very well. So if we combine that with our knowledge how to, 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 to implement this in a, in a good operational way, we really can uh, boost our economies together. UK is becoming more and more of just like a leader in innovation uh, in the global stage. What I think is also key in the economic resilience of the UK is how we actually we grow and how we reinvest that money. Yes, we want to sustain certain industries, but we also got to move on with you know what's happening today, what's happening tomorrow. You know, and we've already recently built up a, a portfolio of clean tech companies that are interested in uh, in Mexico. Um, even one, you know, there's some of them really active here and they're helping to solve these challenges and make the country more sustainable as a whole and then help industries adjust these new commitments to protect the planet. We are in new times that require, uh, first of all, increased market access. Also, there's trade facilitation. There is common ambitions, such as I mentioned, sustainability, common objectives to ensure a free, open and rules-based trade. The modernized agreements contributes to a small company's ability to export more. Why? Because first of all, there is more information available. Also, the legal certainty and the clarity and the facilitation of the procedures will help them to trade between Mexico and the European Union. El carácter de las empresas de origen europeo es un carácter comprometido con el país. Y no tengo ninguna duda por lo que he visto aquí hoy en Invest Monterrey o por lo que sé de esta ciudad y de este país, que México es un buen lugar para la inversión, pero Monterrey y Nuevo León lo es especialmente, por las condiciones, por el aprecio al inversor que decía y por lo que facilita para que las personas y las empresas venidas de otros lugares del mundo puedan invertir aquí. El contenido de esta mañana ayuda a argumentarlo y la historia y la realidad de Monterrey ayuda a apuntar a esa dirección. Creo que estamos en un buen lugar para la inversión de empresas europeas en México. Muchas gracias.